All right, you guys, seems like Adobe just dropped a new update with Vector Generator, where basically you type in your prompt and it's going to generate vectors. Here you can type in your prompts, for example, geometric fox face with minimal details. And I'm gonna go to the icon here and select subject and click on generate. And this is going to generate three different designs, which are not necessarily good because these look like some traced vector images already, which is not that good. So basically it took, I don't know, an JPEG and it traced it. So the main point is you can find here subject scene icon and pattern as well. And if you add the subject, it's gonna create like detailed illustrations, let's say bunny with sunglasses. And look at that, it is gonna do the bunny with the sunglasses. This is actually pretty okay, but overall it's pretty good for a, you know, generic vector file. Okay, so now let's go to the icons because that's more interesting. So there's another button, which is right here, the settings. So if you change the icon, it's going to decrease the details to one, but it still has quite a bit of detail, so it's not that good. Okay, let me try it out something else. Minimal logo design of a car. <laughs> okay, this looks horrible. So this is what you get if you type in the logo. So anyways, let's go to... I'm gonna create a rectangle and we're gonna go to patterns. And look at this, we got also preview patterns here. I'm gonna click on the first one, that looks interesting. We got bright lines and dots. Oh wow, look at this. Now this is good. I can approve this, so it actually can create like really simple minimalistic patterns, which is uh, nice. I'm also gonna try out this one. Not that bad. So it seems like uh, when it comes to illustrations, the AI is again really good because it's just copy pasting what else had been done already. And if you wanna change also the patterns, you can go to the swatches because the patterns are saved here. You can double click on one of these swatches and it's gonna show up the pattern options and you can change up the width, which is not good, but you also can you know, select a shape and it is going to change up, you know, at every place. And if you want more ideas, you can click on this light bulb and it's gonna show up some cool stuff here. Personally, I ain't satisfied, but with the patterns, you can create some dope stuff. So what do you think of the new update here in Illustrator? Anyways, thanks for watching.